In this training video, we're going to show you how to use mystical lighting and ambience to apply light streams across a scene. We're going to use the spotlighting effect. The control you see on your screen is basically what we call a T-path. By clicking and dragging on the T-path, you can change the light source position, direction, and width. Essentially, the T-Path is an easy-to-use control, and you can have as many of these on your scene as you care. In this case, I'm going to have two. I'll have one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. First, I'm going to adjust my opacity intensity. Now I'm going to draw the one on the left, and I'm going to stream it coming across the model's body. All right, I'd like to now make it look like it's going behind the model. To do that, I'm going to use the Brush Off tool to brush the light source off, and essentially this gives me a protected area. Okay, now it looks like the light source is behind the model. I'm going to increase the opacity, and I'm going to add just a little bit of darkness. It's important to note that each of the T-paths can have its own set of controls. In this case, I'm going to increase the intensity, and the last T-path that was selected, which happens to be the one on the left, you can see it here, is given more intensity when I increase that control. This allows you to create a sense of depth and realism with the light as it's streamed across the scene. You can crank the light up as bright as you'd like, or you can decrease the light. It's all up to you, and it depends upon the scene that you're working with. We'll check the original, and here's after. Now I'm going to use the Brush On tool to add back to an area that I've used the Brush Off tool. So essentially earlier I used the red Brush Off tool around the shoulder, and I accidentally messed up. I'm going to use the Brush On tool to add back to an area. Now you can see where the shoulder looks more natural with the light touching on it. Okay, that looks really good. I'm going to go over here on my layer palette and show you how you can turn on or off the effect. And you can also use the opacity slider on the layer palette to tone down the entire effect on a global basis. And that's pretty much it.